Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are actually going to start building a massive World War II bomber that was actually proposed during World War II but was never actually built. Uh, these are like what the engines are going to look like on this thing. Um, so this is literally just a size scale. Um, it's massive. It's gonna be huge. We might have to fold the wings up while we're in the hangar and stuff like that So I don't know this might be interesting, uh, but anyway the actual plane itself is called the North American NA 116 and um, it's massive. It is actually massive. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start building it shall we? Also, just before this video actually starts, I want to say thank you to everyone that's actually watching these videos. If you guys do actually enjoy it and you aren't subscribed at the moment, I just want to say, um, hopefully, you actually find a reason to actually press that subscribe button. That would be awesome. Also, if you guys actually enjoy the video, please leave a like down below. Uh, it just helps the video a lot. <laughs> Okay, so now we are actually into the building stage of this plane. What we need to do is we actually need to figure out how to actually make this thing work. So, I'm going to have it so that the front propeller is actually controlled by an electric motor and the rear propeller is actually controlled by an engine uh, all by itself. Uh, which actually to me seems completely fine, I think. So, what we're going to do then is we're going to grab this, we're going to go backwards, I think... I don't know how much we actually need to do, uh, but we're going to grab ourselves a propeller and we're going to put it on there. So heavy rotor is what we need. We're going to go ahead and try and smack this in there somewhere. And I think it goes about there. So delete these ones, put this in, and there we go. It actually fits. Let's go ahead and make it the right colors. There we go. And that fits on there just like that. We're then going to put this one on here as well. And that is essentially how you make these things work. Okay, so that by itself is actually pretty awesome. We can now get rid of most of this. Uh, we could go up from here too. We could go down from here pretty much too. And uh, we can make all of these things actually work, which is perfect. Um, I think we actually should go backwards with this. If I can, I can fill in like most of the interior. And I think that'll actually work out pretty well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go around it. We're going to go out too. There we go. We're going to go backwards. Yep, and we're going to fill in, like, all of the interior bits, because I think we should. <laughs> um, yeah, because I think we should, uh, which is completely fine. So, delete that piece. We can then put these pieces in, like this, and um, I guess we don't want it to go to a point, so we'll leave it like that, and that, to me, seems fine. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and make this go forwards, like this. Actually, no, we're going to do it the same way we did on the other one, uh, and essentially, the way this is going to work is these pieces are going to be added, and they're going to go like this. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know whether I did this. I didn't. But actually, realistically, on this, we could do that. That looks good. All right, cool. Delete this piece. We're going to make this go down sideways. Uh, I believe three. There we go. Uh, that means we can follow this around with three uh, if we can. There we go. And then we just need to do the bottom piece, which is actually completely fine. All right, fill in these pieces as we go around. We're going to do that bit and that bit. We should also fill in the middle piece as we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. And, um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So, do this piece like this. Make it go down sideways a little bit. Not all the way, though. Not all the way. What are you doing? There we go. And then across from there, we can literally just add this piece, and it'll be fine, I think. There we go. Put that piece in. And to me, that actually looks awesome. All right, fix it by putting this piece right here. Boop. There we go. Down. And then fill this piece in across. And I think that, to me, actually looks pretty okay. That looks okay. I don't know whether we should move it all up, a, like, a tiny bit. Um, just so it works. Actually, that's a good idea. Delete this. Uh, and delete this. There we go. Um, we can just put... Ooh. How is this working? How is this going to work? We can put this piece so that it's, like, in the middle. If that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Put it here. There we go. Yeah, like that. Instead... I think that makes sense. All right, and then put that piece on there. But actually, it needs to go backwards one, I think. So delete this. There we go. And then put it back there. There we go, indeedy. Put this piece on. And then fill in the whole front piece. Like this. And fill in the bottom piece as well. That, to me, actually looks okay. Cool. We need to do the same thing with this piece as well. So let's go backwards a little bit. There we go. I think we delete it from, like, here. Uh, just to test it. And then we'll put this piece right there. Actually, it's like one further in. 
Possibly even two. Oh, is it two? It might be another one. Oh, does this fit? Now, nah, okay, it's just one. There we go. All right, awesome. We're back to normal. And now we've got like a covering for it, which is perfect. Uh, we can't go any further backwards with this one, but we can actually go up from here, which is uh, amazing. There we go. We're going to go around the outside because we should. And um, that's good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, down the side is three. And then we're going to go down and across. There we go. And across. And that to me looks awesome. Yes. So this isn't actually straight back from here. Uh, they actually get wider as they go backwards from this point. So we're going to make them get wider. And this is going to look awesome, I think. All right. So just round off these pieces on the front for now. There we go. Go ahead and do these pieces as well. Uh, the bottom side is already done, so that's okay. Uh, then we're just going to grab this piece, this section right here. We're going to put it on the back of this. And we're going to make it go upwards. Oh, should we make it go all, like all the way up? I think so. I actually think so, yeah. We should make it come all the way out sideways too. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, and then down the sides, we're going to use these pieces like this. And then we're going to go around the bottom side. And this is going to look completely fine, hopefully. Here we go. Whoop. There we go. All right, awesome. And we're going to put this piece in like so. And across the bottom it goes. And there we go. So it's going to get wider. And it's going to get taller. And it's going to get better. This is going to be amazing. Uh, I think from there we literally just go backwards. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. And we'll do this. There we go. And uh, we can fit all of this in like this. And yeah, this is like just our engine covering. And that's fine. Our engine's going to go inside of this. And um, yeah, it should be okay. All right, perfect. Go ahead and put this piece in as well. There we go. And this piece. And also, obviously, the last piece as well. And we can fill in the rest of these. There we go. This actually leaves us enough room to put um, to put our engine in there. And also, on some of them, maybe landing gear as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, right, okay. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and start painting it real quick. I want it to look good. So we're going to paint this cowling. Is it cowling? I don't know if it's called cowling. Uh, but we're going to paint all the way around the outside of this. We're going to paint all the way around these pieces as well. And this should end up looking pretty nice. There we go. We'll go backwards a little bit as well. Um, to like here, I think. There we go. And we're going to paint the rest of it as well. So it's going to be... Ooh, wait, that's three. Is that three? Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to paint the rest of it as well. So the bit at the back is actually going to be gray instead of um, like dark gray. Light gray instead of dark gray. And I think to me, that looks cool. That actually does look really cool. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and pop ourselves an engine in here. So engine, we are going to be using these small, uh, sorry, the medium engines. Uh, we could actually put two of these in probably. They would totally fit. Uh, and that might not be a bad idea. We could use one for propulsion and one for actually making power uh, for the front engine. And that actually to me makes sense. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh, but we can't fit them. We can't actually fit them in. That's actually kind of annoying, like a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Right, delete all of this. That is fine. Uh, this engine is literally just going to attach onto there. Uh, so we'll put that. Ooh, can we actually fit these in? I don't know whether we'll fit them in side by side. If I put that there, can we fit them? Let's see. Right, if I put that there. Yeah, we can totally fit them. So one of these can be for propulsion, propulsion uh, on this. And then one of them can be for generation of power uh, for the front motor. That, to me, actually seems like a really good idea. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to try and make this as uh, simple as I possibly can. We're going to put this here. We're going to get ourselves a heat uh, radiator. Let's go ahead and pop that right there. And we're going to put some pipes on these radiators in order to actually attach those to there. That makes sense to me. And that is actually fine. The exhaust on these engines are going to go out the side uh, for both of them. So we're going to delete this one and this one. And the exhaust is going to go out of there. Which, to me, seems fine. So let's get ourselves another pipe. Go this way. There we go. And then go sideways. And go all the way to the edge. There we go. Exhaust is going to come out of here. So, get ourselves a fluid port. Do, 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 do. Put it on there like this. And that is going to be awesome. There we go. All right, cool. Um, maybe we should have this further forwards. We should probably actually move these engines quite far forwards. And then put these in. Um, that does make sense. That does actually make sense. I'm going to move them forwards um, purely because the wing actually goes there. It pretty much goes there. Yeah. 
Alright, so I've gone ahead and copied them. We're going to go forwards until we actually start... Ooh. We don't want to go too far forwards because we still need to add... Um, we still need to add a gearbox. Uh, we also need a generator on this one, but that could go backwards and the generator can go behind. Uh, or something like that. So, actually, this is fine. This is completely fine. Alright, press uh, paste. There we go. Merge these in. Uh, each of the engines... Sorry, each of these, like, um, systems uh, are actually going to have them in. So, it's going to be crazy. But, anyway, uh, let's go forwards and delete these. There we go. We can delete these too. And then we can put these in. Alright, one there, one there. We need to put this one in as well. And this one. And we're going to paint those slightly darker. If we can. There we go. Alright, awesome. This is actually looking pretty good. Uh, this right here is our fuel. Okay, so fuel's going to be tricky. And our air supply is actually on the front of the bottom. If we just go forwards with this, we can actually put them there. Oh, this is totally going to work. Alright, grab this color. Put it right there. And um, literally just get a pipe and attach these together. And that's our air supply done. There we go. Alright, all the way back to there. That is awesome. Right, so, our engines are almost pretty much done, so that's pretty good. Um, our fuel supply is probably going to be inside the wings, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. But um, this right here is going to be our engine. I, I like it. I actually really like it. Just think of, like, four of these together. Let's go ahead and copy them, and we'll put four in, and we'll see what it looks like and how big that's going to be. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and I've actually placed four of these, and I don't really know. This thing is going to be absolutely ginormous. I I don't know how this is going to go, but essentially, these need to go out even further. The wings themselves need to be absolutely huge, so I don't know where the wings are going to come from. Um, I might actually need a modded workbench to actually complete this plane. I uh, Honestly, I think I'm going to have to. Um, which is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Um, but I think that is something that we're gonna need to do. Because, realistically, I can't have it be this skinny, uh, in the middle. There's, there's no way. It needs to be a little bit fatter than this. So, I can't really have that. Which is crazy, because, oh, maybe I could. Maybe I, like, uh, maybe one wider. Um, but then the wings are just not gonna be long enough, and that's just gonna look weird. Um, what I could do is I could scale it down. So we literally only have um, one of these on each side rather than two. And that would mean the wings would actually fit. But I don't know. I don't know. Do we want that? I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and stand these up on like little legs. <laughs> We're going to stand it up on little legs. And um, that's going to be fine, I think. Here we go. Little legs going to go in. There we go. And other little legs going to go backwards. And we could probably spawn it in there. And it shouldn't fall over. Yeah. That looks good. All right, cool. You know what? I actually like these. Um, they're gonna work. They're totally gonna work. Okay, so I was actually gonna end that there, but what I'm gonna do instead is we're gonna get these things actually running and turning and, um, the engine's actually working. So, uh, essentially the way we're gonna do it, just for now, is we're gonna get some tanks. Do 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 do. We're gonna get some tanks. Uh, these are big. These are big tanks. Uh, we're just gonna get some medium tanks and we're gonna slap them on the side. Uh, of each of these walls, and that's okay. We're gonna have to do this in every single one of these. So what am I doing? Right, okay. I should have just copied and pasted it all the way along, but I didn't, so never mind. Alright, turn this around, put it there. Good. Do the same thing right here as well. Boop, there we go, and get ourselves a straight pipe and attach these together. Um, so we're gonna have to do this on these engines as well, on the middle, and uh, this one's already... No, it's not. What? Why isn't it doing it? Am I slightly off center? <gasps> no. Oh no, really? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not really. Did I just what? How am I? How has this happened? Huh? How is this? How has this happened? Do this and this. It should happen in this one, but it's not. Why? Where is that happening instead? Do I need to grab the whole thing and move it over sideways, like, one? I think I do. Okay, so I, I've just copied and pasted it wrong. Uh, essentially, the way we need to do this, then, is we need to grab this piece right here. Do, 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 wherever the center may be. Where is it? Uh, this piece. This piece, this piece. Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, like this. Go ahead and cut it and move it slightly to the right. Boop, there we go. Paste it again and put this piece back in. And then I think... If we merge this with this, and then we put this block right here. Hold on, delete these two. Put that there. Uh, we've got it the same. All right, good. Now we can put the fuel tanks in. I can't believe that actually, like, took so long. But anyway, 
Um, make these like white so we can actually see where the holes are and put them in. Is that right? Yes, it is. All right, cool. Put one here as well. Do, 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 do. Turn it around and put it right there. Good. Those ones are done. We then need to do these ones as well. There we go. One there and one for this tank as well. This isn't actually how this is going to work, by the way. Just as a side note. Um, I'm only putting these in like this for now. Just so we can actually get them running. And uh, we can see what they're like while they are running. So that makes sense to me. We're also going to put a gearbox in. Uh, literally straight onto here. There we go. We might as well make it go up. And then make it go sideways. Do, 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 do. Uh, and I'm going to do this on the other one as well. So don't worry too, too much. We're going to go sideways. We're going to go that way. We're going to go up. Oh, God. We're going to go up. And we're going to go sideways again. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, so that's actually connected to the propeller. And that is fine. We're going to do that on the other two. And then we'll see what happens. All right, so I've gone ahead and we've actually got some fuel tanks in each of these engines. We've obviously attached them all to these uh, little thingamabobbies. And these are actually attached to the motors as well, which are actually on the fronts. So let's go ahead and actually power up all of these. Uh, it would be great if we could do it all at the same time, but we can't. So we're just going to do this. There we go. Out and we're moving. We are actually moving around. Oh, God. We need more. We need more weight. All right, so I've gone ahead and designed a little platform. This is all weight blocks on the floor, and uh, this is a big stack of weight blocks back here. We're not going to actually put these all up to full, but we are going to put them on a little bit. Here we go. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Uh, and they're all actually running, and that's fine. Can we actually go up to max? I think we can go up to max now. All right, awesome. So they all actually work. That's perfect. Um, all the exhaust actually comes out the sides, which is fine. And I really like it. I actually really, really like it. It's awesome. Um, there is one that's not working. And that's that one right there. What's broke on that one? Huh? I don't know. Oh, okay. So this one actually doesn't have any pipes. I don't know why it doesn't have any pipes, but it just doesn't have any pipes, which is weird. But anyway, go ahead and attach those to there. And now that one should work too, I think. That one should work too, I think. Let's go have a little look. Do, 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 do. Whee! There we go. Go ahead and do this and this. There we go, and this, and this, and this. There we go, they all work now. Yes, they do, awesome. All right, so now that they all actually work, we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys very much for actually watching this video. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on what we can actually do with these things, maybe we need a modded workbench to make this bigger. I'm not too sure, but um, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.